Partners, Teresa Youngstrom with a better approach to memory care. I was thinking about the first time I needed to take a loved one to the doctor after their memory challenges had gotten to the point where we, we knew we really had a problem, but you know what, they just weren't seeing it. It could be a real challenge. And you know, what I recommend is that you don't talk around that person in that appointment. You can really mess up the relationship. And so I would write everything down, the bullet points on a piece of paper and put at the bottom, you know, please don't pit me against this person in this appointment because I'm going to have to take their side. Otherwise, you know, it can really damage the relationship. And I would put a note in there saying, hey, I'd love to talk with you privately afterwards. And I know some of you are thinking, well, you're not the POA, you know, the doctor, you can't share information, but you can give information all day long. And you know what? They appreciate it. They really would like to get a better picture because, you know, when, when we have a true dementia, we can flip to the right side of our brain and be very cordial when we get to the doctor's office. We sit up a little straighter. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, yes. No, doing great, yeah, no trouble. No trouble at all. And they can act like you haven't even seen them act in months. And so just a little tip, feel free to write down the information. Give it to the receptionist when your loved one is taking their seat. And then maybe you can just communicate better with the physician. But beyond anything, never, ever, ever talk around the person who has memory challenges. You set up a private time to have a conversation with someone if you need to talk about details, but we never talk around a loved one with memory challenges. Okay, you got this.